Hello guys, welcome back to yet another session on the topic of dissolution of a partnership. This is a faculty solution. Yes, in the previous classes, we have learned about the simple dissolution problem, simple dissolution concepts. Now we are going to focus on one more problem on the simple dissolution topic. Let us discuss how we can approach this problem. Okay. So whenever a dissolution problem has been tested for you, basically, as we have discussed in the classes, we need to prepare three basic accounts. One is realization account, partner's capital account, and next to one is your cash account. Always your cash account will get tagged. Okay. So when you started studying, PQR are the partners sharing profit and losses in the ratio of 2 is to 2 is to 1. Their balance sheet has on the values is given. Once immediately you study the topic, then immediately go to the last part. You are required to prepare realization account, partner's capital account, and cash account. Immediately open all the three legs accounts in your notebooks. Immediately open all the three ledger accounts in your notebook. Realization account. Number two will be your partner's capital account. The partners are P, Q and R. Here also the cash account will get opened. So we have opened the all the ledger accounts. Don't even touch any question. Just start studying and just go. What are the five steps we will follow when we follow a dissolution problem? What is the first step? Dismantling balance sheet. Dismantling a balance sheet. Step number two. Disposal of asset and payment of liabilities. Step four, step three. Take over of asset and liability by partners. Step four. Transfer of realization profit or loss to partners capital accounts. Very good. Step five. Settlement to the partners. Settlement to the partners, settlement of the accounts. Now we will follow a first step. First step is dismantling a balance sheet. Capital, first we will take the asset side. Plant and machinery, fixtures, stock, sundry data is given. Cash is given. We will post on the respective accounts. We will post two plant and machinery, 1,8,000. Two fixtures, 24,000. Two stock, 60,000. Two sundry debtors, 48,000. All the assets has been posted. Cash is there. Cash will go to which account? Cash. Cash. Cash account on which side? Credit debit side. Debit side. Debit side. Debit side. I will write down two balance, brought down. The value is 60,000. Right? 60,000. Then come to your capital, liability side. All the capitals will be transferred to capital accounts. By write down, by balance, brought down. The values are as follows 1 lakh 20, 48, 24. 1 lakh 20, 48,000, 24,000. Then, next, reserve fund is there. This reserve fund should be divided among the partners in which ratio? Whole ratio. That is profit sharing, profit sharing ratio. Profit sharing ratio is 2 is to 2 is to 1. So, if it is 2 is to 2 is to 1, write down by reserve fund. In the ratio of 2 is to 2 is to 1. Take a calculator. 60,000 divided by 5 into 2. What is the value? Twenty four thousand. Then it will also be 24,000. Then capital R, R partner will be 12,000. Am I right? Come to creditors. Creditors, you will post to realization account. In which side? Credit side. By writing by creditors account. You will write down 48,000. 
dismantling of the balance sheet is over. Now this balance sheet is done. Now you never going to see the balance sheet. Now come to a second step. What is your second step? Disposal of asset and repayment. Disposal of asset. All the asset values has been given to you. So you will go for a small working note. Working note one. Assets realized. What are the values? Plant and machinery. Fixtures. Stock. Sunday data. The values are as follows. 1 lakh 2,000. 18,000. What is the stock value? 84. Sunday data. What is the value? 4,400. 4, 400. Now calculate the value. Take a cal calculator and quickly do this. 48,400. How much? 2,48,400. 2,48,400. So this is working note 1. So this working note 1 will be transferred to on the realization account by writing by cash account. You will write down working note number 1, 2,48,400. Now you will go to the respective cash account and you will write down two realization account and you will write down 2,48,400. Now, this part is done. Now, come to the adjustment part. Credit has allowed a discount of 5%. Now, you will actually charge it. You will write down to cash account. In brackets, you will show what is the credit as value 48,000 into 95%. As we are getting a discount of 5%, we have got, so it is 95%. 48,000 into 95%? 45,000. 45,600 is your cash value. Immediately go to the cash account and write down by realization account you will write down 40 what is the value 45600 45, 45600 is the value once it is done this point is done realization expenses amounting to 1500 or we can show it in a single working note okay instead of putting like this what we will do we will go for a second working note payment Payments made or payments done. We will write down credit tasks 48,000 into 95%. 45,600, right? 45,600. We will write down realization expenses. What is the realization expenses? 1,500. Add the value. 45, 46, 46, 4700, right? Is it 4700? Yes, yes, sir. Okay. 47,100. The same value has been posted here. 47,100. Now, there are an unrecorded asset of 6,000, which was taken over by Q. At 4,800, what do you will do? You will record those unrecorded assets directly at which value here? Here at the taken over value, not at 6,000. Okay, if the same Q has taken over, your fourth, third step, taken over by the P, now that's point Q. 4,800 you will record. Here you will write down by Q's account at which value? 4,800. Now you will come to partners capital. On the debit side, you will write down 4,800. You will write down to realization account. To realization account. Now, an amount of 4,200 due for GST. Come to notice during the course of realization, GST pay due of GST is your liability. Liability is not at all recorded. At the time of dissolution, notice has been coming. You need to repay the liability, unrecorded liability. 
now you need to record it in the books directly recording books and then transfer realization and then transfer to respective accounts what you can do directly record the unre unrecorded liability in the debit sides of the realization account by writing to cash account in brackets disposal unrecorded liability what is the value over there 4200 okay that's it all the posting is done everything is posted now we have missed one thing we are not posted to cash account by writing by realization account the value is 4200 we have posted everything okay everything has been properly posted so we can just go for a fourth step tallying the that is transfer of the profit or loss now this question is in the loss right loss or profit just try to calculate it i need a total for the debit and credit columns I want a total. What is a credit side total? Three lakh what is a credit side total? Three lakh? Three lakh one thousand two hundred. Okay. Just check with the debit side. Two lakh ninety-eight thousand two hundred. Then subtract from three lakh one thousand two hundred. 3,000. 9,900. 9,000? 900. 9, 900. Is it right? 9,900? Everybody is agreeing with this? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, this profit, we are making a profit on realization. So, to profit on realization, transfer to capitals. Who are the partner P, Q, R? In what ratio? 2 by 5, 2 by 5, and 1 by 5. 9,900 divided by 5 into 2. Nine thousand nine hundred divided by 5 into 2. 3960. 3960. Then half of it will be 1980. Yes. Is it right? Yes. yes. So this will be transferred to the partners on the debit side by writing credit side by writing by realization account in brackets. I will write down profits on realization. The values are as follows: three nine six zero three nine six zero. The value will be one nine eight zero. All the values are done. Now we will just try to close these accounts. Give me a value over here. Just give me the value. We'll quickly close it. What is the P value? One What is the RQ value? Seventy five thousand nine sixty. 35,960. Very good. Then R value? 37,980. 37,980. 37,980. 75,960. The balancing figure will be the same, right? 14,960. Here, 37,980. Here, if I subtract 4,800, it will become 71,160, right? Yes, yes. 71,160 transfer to by writing by P's capital by R's QPQR okay. by Q's capital by R's capital 147,960 just try to calculate all the values over here 2,48,400 plus 60,000. What is the value? It means 63,8,400, right?
just try to calculate this. If I want to specific, it is a GST. We have already GST and realization value. Be like eight thousand four hundred. Yes, it is get balancing. So we have done. If you want to make further, I will write one more note one for the purpose of this value. I will write note one over here. Why I take 4,800? So I will write down, write along with me. And unrecorded asset is in the nature of gain. Hence, it is credited to realization account. Hence, it is credited to realization account. Since this asset is has been taken over by the partner who has taken over q has taken over by the partner taken over by the partner q therefore his account this means q's account has been debited so if you write like if they, they are going to test you for 10 marks or 8 marks in this question, you will surely get 8 marks or 10 marks in this question. Okay. So with this, our simple dissolution problem is over. Thank you. Have a nice day.